this episode's freaking amazing. Like, I can't, I can't say this is probably the best episode of the season so far, just because it was so freaking amazing. It really delved into Maki's character, really delved into her past, kind of giving us some kind of tidbits here and freaking there. What really might, might have actually happened in her past? What really could have happened? What made her go this way? What really made her become this distant human being away from everyone else? Because in an, even in this episode, you can see it's evidence of this distance between these characters. Since Maki's always like kind of ten like paces in front of someone else, she's never really next to that person. Everyone else could be next to the person. Since Chidori might be in, always next to Agatha. Not with Maki. Maki's always somewhere in front. She's never always there with them. They're never. She's never really ever a part of the group. She's really isolating herself away from everyone else. As if she really doesn't want any friends. She doesn't really want any of these whole emotions to go through again. And then really when the past just comes back to her, she does not want to remember this past. I guess Nonico really using her in this experiment to kind of like progress their whole deepness level in terms of the whole emotional deepness level as a whole really did kind of get to Agatha as well. Agatha's saying at the end, did we really save Maki? Did we actually go out of our way to save her? We really didn't. Nonico's saying, look, Yes, you say that from the TV. You say this on TV crew, didn't you? Like you did that, didn't you? But you see in Avatar's eyes, he knows he did not save Maki from anything. He's he. They saved Maki from the TV crew. Yes, they did that. That was the main thing they did. But really, did they save her completely? Did they actually go out of their way to save her emotionally? No, really, they didn't, because she ran away at that point. Nobody truly knows how she's feeling. Nobody really knows what's really going through her brain. She's probably really, really mentally, like, kind of scarred at this point. Like, she really doesn't want to remember this whole past that she went through. She doesn't really want to re really remember her creating this manga, her going through this whole ordeal, her kind of remembering the friend that she had, that something might have happened in between. So again, we really don't know what happened to Ruru. Ruru being her friend, we don't really know what happened. Some internal rumors are saying, look, she might have died. One of the creators might have died because they actually created a manga together, but at one point it just disappeared. Like nothing really happened after that point with it. So we really don't know what could have happened. We don't really know what could have happened to make, make her go this way. And the fact that she's, she's this way, and when the TV crew are harassing her, kind of making her remember the whole entire ordeal she goes through. And then that whole scene that Ruru kind of comes into the shot and says, you really will never forget me. You'll always will remember me for all the time. So kind of makes you realize, yes, you will never forget the past. The past will always come back to you. The whole, it's a, it's a, it's a running theme this whole entire season so far of the past. The past has been this thing you can never forget. It's always going to come back to you at the worst possible points. You yourself, you always want to, you want to get past this whole ordeal you've gone through, but sometimes it will just come back to you. You know you don't want it to come back, but it will. It will come back to you, and it really does affect you in the worst possible way. And it really got to mark it. And it really did, because she actually kind of broke down. Her mental state kind of went to a point of... I knew I didn't realise it could go that far. And so it really kind of... The whole scene kind of went yellow and just went... It kind of went boom. Like, literally, it did. So it kind of represented the, her whole ordeal that she's going through. At that point of her not wanting to remember this whole past that she went through. She doesn't want to remember it. She doesn't want to get past it. Even when the editor comes in and says, Look, I will mask your voice. I won't... You don't have to appear in a shot. Just be in the documentary. But she doesn't want to. She just never wants to remember this manga she created, this whole thing that she's done with Ruru, she doesn't remember it. And then when Agatha really says, I'm disappointed with Nordico, you can see it in Agatha's eyes, he actually is. He does not want to f like feel these heart, like these emotions that he's going through. He doesn't want to feel them, no one he does. But it's really the whole ordeal that really, my, I guess Nordico used that whole thing to advantage, kind of making them deep, deep in their whole relationship as a whole, using this whole ordeal. It kind of makes you, re makes you realize, did they really save her? Did they go out of their way to do something for Maki? Or really, did they just kind of save her from that TV crew? Did they not do anything beyond that point? Really, did they? Like, did they go out their way to save her emotionally? Because in my own opinion, my eyes, and Agatha's eyes, I'm guessing, they didn't really do anything. They really didn't go out of their way to come back and say, Maki, are you okay? What are you feeling in this situation? Really, how are you feeling? Because I, I thought maybe Agatha... Agatha might do something, or maybe Yuta might have done something. Yuta kind of being this person that really does kind of want to kind of get feel more connected towards, I guess, in a way, Maki really does want to feel connected towards. And I guess I really thought that maybe he might go after and kind of talk to her and say, "Are you okay? Are you how are you feeling the situation?" But nothing really happened. Maybe next episode it might actually happen. We're not too sure. But how it really delved into the whole ordeal that Maki went through as a character. It was freaking amazing. I loved it. It kind of, it really shook me as a person as well. I kind of felt like I was connected to these characters. I was really feeling this overbearing gloom in my heart that really Maki does not want to remember this past. I felt really bad for her because when it led to her appearing, you saw her face just kind of go, 
holy crap, why are you here? Like, I don't want you here. Why are you here? You can actually really feel it for yourself. You're really feeling that actually she does not want to remember this. Something that she wants to get past, but she can't because life always does hit you in the worst possible way. It, it, it's one of those things that always does. The past is the past. The past will never, will never, will never, will never leave you. The past will never leave you. It always will come back in the worst possible ways. And that's really the evident thing of this, the very really evident theme of this episode. You can never forget the past. The past will always come back to you in the worst possible way. Granted, it was kind of forced in this episode, but since really nautical using it in the, in the mission itself, going to save Maki, but the whole past was kind of brought up because of her. And then in the end, really, that whole scene when Agatha just goes, I'm disappointed in you. And then you just saw, you saw Nodiko just flinch. You saw her, you could see it in her eyes. She was disappointed in herself. Like she knew at that point she has done something wrong. She really has. Like since that whole thing that she's done, she never should have done because I was just feeling this whole emotion towards her. And since maybe at this point, I guess, I guess in a way, I guess there's no emotion towards someone else. Never, been, never really ever feeling disappointment to someone else, but really feeling this for the first time. And it really does play quite well, since you really do feel that Alex is really disappointed in what Nordico has done. And really, yeah, I guess, in a way, Nordico really feels bad for what she's done as well. Now she's got to really kind of lament for what she's done. She's kind of got to figure out how she can get past this whole situation, what she's done. How can she actually kind of mend maybe this whole relationship she had with Agatha up to this point? Maybe Because I, I kind of feel there's an emotional connection towards Agatha and Nordico. And now it's kind of, in a way, just destroyed. It's really She had to destroy this whole relationship within one episode. It's really kind of sad, in a way. But overall, I really like how they're emotionally connected on like kind of a per like on a heart level. They really do feel their emotions. Since now you really can't kind of convey the whole idea you are feeling okay. You can't just say yeah I'm okay. Like you really can't because now they can feel your gloom. You can, they can feel your emotions. They can feel what you're feeling. Like, you really can't get that. You can't really get past the whole idea. Really, you can't. You can never get past the whole idea that now these characters can feel your like kind of heart your how you feel like they, they can actually they can actually feel how you feel so you can really never say i'm okay and it actually just really proved to be an interesting idea i mean how will they go forward how will they actually kind of use this whole idea as it's now really when the, when something happens are they always going to have this constant idea that oh, we, we know how you're feeling like since we know you're feeling this gloom how we can get past this gloom and it really was a cool episode i really liked it it was really really freaking well done so yeah with all that said, I've been the driver. You like? Do leave a like. It doesn't make quite a bit. Leave a sub. Do leave a sub. It doesn't make quite a bit. But with all that said, I've been the driver, and I will see you guys later. Bye for now.